Hey guys, um, so today I wanted to do a little update on the whole reversal slash IVF um, thing. So today's date is February 6th, 2017. Um, and I just wanted to update and say that we finally finished all of our tests. Um, we had to have like several tests done to kind of see if, you know, all my egg count and how many and just you know, if a reversal is possible. Um, so last Wednesday I had my sono, which basically checked um, my uterus to see if there was any like cysts or abnormalities or just any reason why an egg wouldn't be able to attach and uh, grow properly there. Um, so they basically just like took a catheter and like put it into my uterus um, and they told me that it could be like some cramping and whatnot. Um, and I was like so stressed for this test and the HSG, um, cause I've heard that they can be painful and I'm like such a wimp when it comes to pain. Um, but I like said a bunch of prayers and I was just like, okay, I'm going to be calm. And so I was pretty calm during the process. Um, but yeah, like when they put the catheter in, it hurt a lot. Um, I remember feeling like really dizzy at first. Um, and yeah, it like kind of like made me feel like I was having like cramps, but it didn't feel like normal period cramps. It just felt like weird, different type of cramping. Um, but it was just very uncomfortable. But luckily it didn't last real long. And they told me that they didn't see anything, that it, everything looked good. And so that was good news. Um, and then the next day I had scheduled my HSG, which that basically checks because I had my tubes tied. Um, they wanted to check the tubes and the condition of the tubes um, and just see if they were blocked or, um, cause I guess, they, so what they do is they put like dye. So it's kind of like the sauna. They put a catheter in the uterus and they pump this dye so that they can see it through an x-ray. The only difference was the Sano did it through an ultrasound and that's how they looked at it. But through the for the HSG, they actually did like an x-ray of my uterus. Um, and so it was kind of a bigger thing. They had like this big old machine sitting over me, which like freaked me out. <laughs> that was just an x-ray machine, but you know. Um, so anyways, uh, for the HSG, I had to go into like a clinic that like did MRIs and you know x-ray type stuff. So I went in for that and uh, yeah and the lady was really nice. She was the one that did my first ultrasound um, for like the whole thing like when we started all these tests and stuff she was the same lady that did my first ultrasound just to kind of check my ovaries and my uterus and everything. Um, and she's a really nice lady and I was glad to see her there. It was like nice to see like a familiar face. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so they like laid me down on this really uncomfortable thing. Like this, not even a bed. It was just like a flat, hard surface. Um, but then they had like a pillow under my uh, hips and my head. Um, and, uh, and so she you know, puts the catheter in and for some reason, so the catheter hurt more going in with the sauno because I think she kind of scraped me going in and I think that's why it hurt so much. For this time, for the HSG, I didn't really feel the catheter going in as much. It wasn't quite as painful, but when they started pumping in the, um, the dye that did hurt. Like it literally felt like someone was setting fire to my uterus. <laughs> it was very painful. And, uh, I was just like a mess. I was like crying. I like, wasn't freaking out, but I just like, was like kind of crying and just like trying to breathe through it. Um, and she didn't tell me a whole lot. I mean, she just said that it probably hurt more because there is blockage because obviously my, my tubes were, um, you know, cut and cauterized. And so usually the dye is supposed to go out through the other end of the tube and like spill, I guess they, that's the word they use for it is when it spills. 
and that's what it's supposed to do. Um, but they were blocked and so it didn't have anywhere to go. So it just really hurt as they're pumping this uh, liquid into my uterus and it just like was very painful. Um, but yeah, she didn't tell me a whole lot. She was just like, okay, we'll send the results to the doctor. And so now the next step is just, uh, so I believe it's next week. Um, I think it's on a Tuesday. It's technically Valentine's Day. So on February 14th, uh, at like 9.30 a.m. we have our um, consultation with my doctor. Um, and he's basically gonna look at all the results from all my blood tests and all the scans and just everything that we did um, these last couple weeks. And he's gonna, you know, either recommend IVF or recommend a reversal and see what the doctor says and hopefully he'll be able to help us out. Um, but anyways, it's been very emotional. It's been a quite an emotional roller coaster. I'm trying to focus on just being excited, you know, cause either way I'm gonna be able to have babies. Cause I know I can have babies, you know, if we do IVF or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just like really excited to get, get started on the next step. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, but anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, so um, I'm just sitting in my car right now, um, about ready to go into work. Uh, I'm just in the parking lot of uh, the mall. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do a quick update. So today is Friday, uh, February 17th. Um, and <laughs> we finally had our, our meeting with, it was our follow-up consultation with um, our fertility doctor, and that was last Tuesday, which was technically on Valentine's Day, it was February 14th was when we had the appointment with him. We saw him in the morning, um, and the gist of what he talked about, and, and we were like so nervous about this consultation, because we didn't know what he was going to say, um, we didn't know what the results were going to be, if he was going to, you know, tell us oh you should do IVF or oh, you should do the reversal we just had no idea what he was gonna suggest so um, yeah so we tried to make sure we stay calm before it um, but the gist of what he said was so he went through all the different tests he did like the HSG the blood work he said that I and I don't remember all the numbers and specifics but basically he said I have a really good egg reserve like I have above average egg reserve there's nothing wrong with my uterus, that's good. The semen analysis came back perfect, so my husband's good fertility-wise. Um, and with the HSG, he saw that I did have enough tube um, to get the reversal. And basically what he said, he's like, you can pretty much go either way. He's like, you look good, like a good candidate to get a reversal. Um, but you could also uh, do IVF if you choose to. Um, and he already talked to us about the pros and cons of each one. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I felt so relieved because um, I was really worried he was gonna say something like, oh, you know, this looks bad or I don't know. I just, I didn't know. I had all sorts of scenarios go through my head of what I was stressed about, but, uh, I was just really happy that everything turned out okay, everything looks fine. Um, and he's just like, yeah, you could pretty much get either or. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, and so me and my husband went home and we talked about it. And we were really happy because we did want to, um, hope, we hoped that we could get a reversal. We wouldn't have to do IVF every single time we had a kid. And so we definitely wanted to go in that direction. Um, and so we were glad that that is an option for us. So we went home and we kind of talked it through and we pretty much decided that uh, we want to go ahead and do the reversal um, or we can do this surgery um, by April and then hopefully try to get pregnant sometime after that, you know, uh, May or during the summer or whatever. Um, but I'm just like so relieved and I'm so excited. I just, I don't know. It's just been a lot of emotional, uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster and 
this whole pregnancy thing, you know, because for so long I just felt like I wouldn't be able to handle it and it wasn't an option. But I'm really grateful that I have this opportunity and I feel like with all of our praying and stuff that I feel like this is the right thing for our family. Um, and I don't know how many kids we're going to have. I don't know that. Um, but we'll try to have as many as we can before... I'm too old to have kids, I guess, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's definitely exciting. I'm just very much at peace and very uh, stress-free right now knowing that we'll be able to do the reversal. So hopefully that'll go well, um, and I'll update you the next time something actually happens, but I don't think anything will happen for another month or so. But anyways, okay, thanks for watching. Bye.